Okay, so right here, in this part, they want you to put the damper pedal down and then they want you to change the pedal on this note. Now you're probably thinking, oh, uh, why would you need to change it? Well, w the reason you want to do that is because some notes just do not sound good together, like... Stuff like that. So you have to think, as long as you're holding the damper pedal down, you like putting this note, this note, that note all together. So what does that sound like? Not too good, right? No. Okay, so what you want to do is you play along, then you change it here, and then... So how you're going to change that is you're just going to push down and... Well, here, I'll show you. Okay, so you can see my foot, right? Okay, so as I go down... Okay, so I'm going to play the first two notes. Or okay, and then I do a quick change. So kind of like that. Now you're going to use this part of here, uh, your foot. Uh, right there. The ball of your foot to hit down about this part of the pedal right here. So you're going to put the ball of your foot there and then push down and that will release the dampers. And then you'll kind of just use your toes pulling your foot up and down to push the dampers up, up and down. So it's kind of like you play the chord and then just before you're about to hit the next chord you're going to quickly release and then let the chord go down and then push the damper pedal down. So it's like, uh, I don't know, just hit the chord. Okay, so once you hit the chord then you let go of the damper pedal, hit the next chord, and then hit the damper pedal down again. So if you're used to like driving manual or standard in a car, it'd be like you're in gear one right now, right? Then you let go, and then you're gonna hit the next gear, and then you're gonna hit the gas again. Kind of like that, I guess. So if you're in gear one, and you're hitting the gas, you're gonna let go of the gas, and then you'd hit the clutch in, and then hit the chord again and start with the gas. Kind of like that. So if you have driven manual, that might help you. I don't know. Okay. Uh, so the two differences are get the wrist straps get in the way. Pull, uh, a change or just a complete let go. Okay. Now I'll quickly explain the other two pedals very short, swiftly because they're not as important. Okay. So the, this pedal right here is probably the only other one that's really used. It's called the soft pedal. And when you push this down, there's two different effects. On an upright piano, uh, what's going to happen is the hammers will usually just go a little bit closer to the keys, so there's not as much striking distance. Okay. And with this, the soft pedal, on a grand piano, I don't think you can see that, but you'll watch. I'm not moving the camera the whole keys, all the keys are sliding over slightly. And what that does, is see these little things here? They're called hammers. And see, when you hit the key, it's going to come up, and then it's going to strike the string. And as it strikes the string, then the damper comes up. So you hit the key, it goes through a whole bunch of mechanisms, and then a hammer comes up and bam, it hits the string, and that starts the sound. Okay, so to get less of a sound, what they're doing is they're just offsetting it, so it's like not a direct hit. So you're actually only hitting two strings now. Like that. Okay. And with this middle pedal right here, all it does is control this half of the keyboard. See how these aren't going up, but these are? That's what the middle pedal does. So it will kind of like blur all those chords together. So if you have to hit a whole bunch of chords really quickly in the left hand, but you don't want it to sound all choppy, you can use the middle pedal. But most people don't usually use it. Okay, and that, I think, is it. So soundboard, pin block, hammers strings, action, or 
sorry, dampers, the action is inside and I don't want to take it out because it's pretty fragile. It's a whole bunch of different complex things inside there. And then you have the soundboard up there and then the cast iron frame. What else? I think that's about it. Pedal. Yep. Okay. So that's the lesson for today. Uh, I know there wasn't anything that I actually taught you for like songs or technique or anything like that, but I hope that was helpful and maybe it helps you understand the piano better so you can play it better. Okay, so uh, next lesson, I'll probably be working on like emotion, like putting emotion into your playing and then also like kind of picturing ideas and also I think I'm going to introduce a blue scale. And that one sounds pretty cool. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to shoot it, but pretty soon. Okay, so, keep practicing, and thanks for watching. Bye.